Hey, I'm Eric Blake. I'm a boat builder here in the Brooklyn Boat Yard. Years ago, friends and I started OffCenterHarbor.com to, to bring you inside the world of classic boats, get you out on some, some of the best wooden boats in the field, and introduce you to the people that created them. If you like this video, you can find hundreds more in the link below in the description. This is haul number 50 to come out of my shop in the years of me building boats by myself. And I'm going to share a few little tricks I've come up with that are on the theme of a guy working by himself trying to make things easier. One of the most versatile fixtures I've got in this shop is this pair of sawhorse workbenches. They're called Manning benches. Sam Manning, one of the great gurus of boat building, drew these up. You can find them in the workbench book from the Taunton Press, where they are known as Manning benches. And it's basically a wide sawhorse that's two feet high with what Sam calls an anvil or a box top that's one foot high that are held together with a couple of bolts in my case, so they're disassemblable for easy transport. And they get used in my shop in about 20 different ways. Um, you can see a pair. A pair is what I have. You need a pair to get the best out of them. I've got now, in this case, a 15 foot long, one foot wide workbench that is absolutely indispensable in terms of spar making, planking. If we were at the point where we were taking pine stock and making floorboards. I can easily set these up right beside the boat and do the quick in and out as I make cuts or make refinements to the shape or so forth. Um, these guys are sized height wise, or frankly I modified the table saw so that they fit these so that they become the in-feed and out-feed tables for my table saw or my belt sander or my band saw or whatever. I take them apart on occasion when I need a two-foot scaffolding to work on a big boat or a one-foot scaffolding to work on a bigger boat. If I took these apart and stacked the two boxes on top of each other, I can have three two-foot high sawhorses if I was working a big log to shape a keel or a mast or something. They're just an invaluable shop fixture. In actuality, I built Ned Ludd on a carport with these were my only shop fixtures, a pair of Manning benches. And I was able to plank and spar make and mill and build molds and under duress you can put them side by side and put a eight foot sheet of plywood on them and have a four by eight workbench in about a moment. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, there's hundreds more. Just follow the link below.